While Western media creates middle-aged superheroes with a few exceptions, anime primarily celebrates the youth by giving them various motivations, goals and tremendous power. One of the things that anime can do is create these idealised humans for us to look up to. While growing up, especially during our teenage years, that's something that we all really needed. Characters of our age that we could look up to that are trying their best, often to reach goals that are in their distant future and seem impossible. So today we'll be looking at these badass teenagers in anime. While no one on this list is really perfect in every possible way, they're trying their hardest in their own scenarios, primarily through effort and their grit to come out on top. We start off this list with Ichigo from Bleach. Of all the characters on this list, Ichigo Kurosaki is perhaps one of the most stubborn and hot-headed. Throughout the series, he didn't back down from fighting opponents that seemed too challenging for him. His reluctance to quit, even when facing opponents more skilled than him, is evident when he faced the captains of the court guard squad. He refused to quit, even egging on his opponents despite the odds. He eventually reached a place of power where he overcame those odds. Ichigo has various skills like enhanced strength, speed and reflexes, but according to both Aizen and Urahara, his most astounding ability is his growth rate. He grasps the basic control of his advanced techniques in days where it would normally take several years for even the most gifted Shinigami. <laughs> Next on the list, it's Kagura from Gintama. Kagura is super strong and doesn't rely on men for anything. She isn't in the plot to be a love or conflict of interest for any other character, and she remains useful for the entire series. She comes from the Yato clan, which means she has super strength, but unlike others in her clan, she's somewhat of a pacifist, while the rest relish fighting. Her peaceful nature keeps her from going full instinct on her enemies all the time, except for the one time her Yato nature overcame her in the fight against Abuto, which was terrifyingly awesome. Next up, it's Ken Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Kaneki's someone whose traumatic experiences morphed him from a wimp into a stoic badass. This is something called post-traumatic growth, the idea that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Kaneki embodies that, becoming one of the greatest ghouls, facing tough situations, overcoming them, and becoming someone who people want to follow. Kaneki's a complex and intriguing character. His transformation from a wimp to one of the most badass characters of a show makes him a deserving entry on this list. Next on the list we have Arza from Fairy Tale. Arza's a badass teenager. The fact that she's a teenager is something you would never guess judging by how composed, strong and smart she is. She's an S-class mage, which is the highest ranking a mage can get in a guild with the exception of a guild master. Arza's magic is something that most girls would be jealous of. The ability to have a magical wardrobe with a seemingly endless option of outfits which she can change into instantly. And unlike the rest of us who can only feel a bit better and more confident in a fresh outfit, Urza's outfits massively enhance her abilities, putting a whole new meaning on the power suit concept. Next we have Luffy from One Piece. Before Johnny Depp and the Pirates of the Caribbean made pirates cool and lovable, Echiro Oda recognised the charm and appeal of being a pirate, being free, not obeying anyone's rule, travelling the world, exploring and adventuring with your comrades. 
The embodiment of this idea is Luffy. Luffy's the man striving to be the freest in the world, because if a pirate's someone who represents freedom, then the Pirate King is the freest man in the world, one who doesn't have to abide by anyone's rules or have any constraints. The man striving to be the Pirate King since he was a kid, the man whose friends have absolute trust in, if Luffy isn't a badass teen, then who is? Next on the list we have Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Regarded as a soldier who's worth a hundred men by her superiors, Mikasa is easily one of the strongest non-Titan characters in the series. She can take down a Titan ten times her size, simply put, she's a total badass. Due to the death and despair that she's been through throughout her life, she has a cold personality. She gets criticised a lot by the fanbase for being overprotective of Eren, but we need to keep in mind he's the only family she's got left. It's hard not to get invested in Mikasa's unsettling past, and her uncanny abilities as a soldier make her one of Attack on Titan's standout characters. Number 4 we have Morgiana from Magi. Morgiana is a full-blooded fanalist, a hunting tribe that's often considered the strongest race in the world. She's Urza if Urza watched a bunch of Dragon Ball Z and Bruce Lee movies. She's an ass-kicking machine with fierce determination and strength, yet still has a feminine nature. Even though she's very awesome, she still suffers from an inferiority complex. This probably comes from being a slave since she was a child, which teaches us all not to allow our past experiences to shape the way we look at ourselves, because we might just be more badass than we think. Moving on to number three, it's Naruto from Naruto. Naruto is probably one of the most inspirational characters in anime. He has the powerful spirit of the nine-tailed beast within him, which he later learns to control and coincide with as it allows him to become one of the most powerful ninjas alive. Even after enduring a tough childhood, he still came out positive and cheerful as ever. He went through so many struggles alone from such a young age, dealing with all the hate emanating from the villagers that was directed towards him. Even through this, he's able to treasure everyone he loves and has the strength and determination to protect and save them no matter what. He just never gives up whatever the situation and that's what makes him one of the legends in anime. At number 2, it's Killua from Hunter x Hunter. A lot of kids have to deal with the high expectations their parents set for them. Some parents want their kids to be doctors, lawyers or even presidents. But Killua had it tough with his family pushing on him the idea of becoming a world-class assassin. With such a harsh upbringing, Killua was always a tough little edgelord. He has strength, skills and good instinct. And on top of that, he has electricity like Nen powers. This allows Killua to be incredibly fast, which makes him an intensely dangerous character to fight. And finally, at number one, we have Jotaro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Stardust Crusaders. 
Jotaro is the third Jojo we meet. Known for his pissed off and stoic personality, he traveled towards Egypt to save his mother while spending some time relaxing and enjoying his favorite hobby of kicking assassin asses. His stand, Star Platinum, has the incredibly creative ability to kick ass real fast and real hard. It boasts phenomenal speed as we saw it intercept a bullet from point-blank range and is stated to exceed the speed of light. But overall, there's only a few teenagers who could beat him in a battle of wits or badassery. He is indeed the most badass teenager in anime. Well, that's the list of the most badass teens in anime. Do you have your own favorite badass teen? Let me know down below in the comments section. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you'll be updated whenever new videos are published. Until next time, goodbye.